Good morning! Let's continue with our lesson. The succeeding sections will discuss how the special journals are used in conjunction with the general ledger, how they look like as well as how and when postings are made to the subsidiary ledgers and control accounts in the general ledger. Using the special journals and postings to the control accounts and subsidiary ledgers. Okay? Tulad ng sabi natin kanina, sales journal. Used for all sales of merchandise on account. So, take note, other authors have different interpretation dito. Okay? Sabi nila, basta sale daw on account, papasok sa sales journal. Which is actually wrong. Okay? It is, it must be specifically stated that only sales on account ng merchandise. Hindi kasali dyan yung hindi merchandise. Well, maybe they have their own reasons. Second one, cash receipts journal. Used for all cash receipts, including cash sales. Basta tumanggap ka ng cash, papasok yan sa cash receipts journal. Purchases journal. Lahat ng purchases, ito rin. On account ng alin? Merchandise. Pag hindi merchandise, dapat hindi sa purchases journal. Pasok mo sa general journal. Okay? Cash disbursement journal. Used for all disbursements of cash, including purchases. Sabi, all disbursements of cash. O di yun yun, including purchases for cash. General General Journal, Catch Basin, Book of Original Entry. Transactions that do not qualify in any of the above special journals shall be recorded herein in the usual manner. Okay, sales journal. When the company makes credit sales of merchandise, entries are made to the sales journal. So, tulad ng sabi natin, lahat ng sales on account ng merchandise sa sales journal. This special journal only handles credit sales of merchandise. Sales that are made for cash are entered into the cash receipts journal. When credit sales of assets other than merchandise is made, the general journal is the one involved. Tulad na sabi natin. In the sales journal, only one line is needed to record each transaction. Understood? The debit goes to the customer account and the credit goes to the account title sales. Kaya kung titignan mo dito, okay, tulad ng example natin kanina, if you still remember yung usual way, eto pa rin yung mga pinagbentahan natin, si Aquino, Bermal, Caballero, tsaka Dagarag. They're the same. Same amounts also we have used to compare usual and the special journals using the special journals journals. Pagka inenter mo siya dito sa sales journal, understood. Ang journal entry dyan, debit accounts receivable, credit sales. So, tulad ng sabi natin, only one line is needed to record the transaction. Yung transaction para kay R. Aquino Grocers, isang linya lang. Only one line item. Ano pa? Later on, mababanggit natin. Pero actually rito, kung gusto mong tignan na. Pero maya na lang. Okay? Number two, the account titles do not have to be written repeatedly. Correct. Since it is understood that the debit goes to the receivable account, the credit goes to the sales account. Unlike journalizing in the general journal, explanations are no longer necessary. Wala na yung to record. Yeah. To record sales on account. To record sales for cash. Dito, pagka pinasok mo sa sales journal, understood. To record sales on account. Yan. Of merchandise. Yan. Usually, only one amount is entered which stands for both the debit and the credit. Correct yan. Sabi dyan, usually. Depende na lang kung merong mga discounts involved. In such cases, eh, gagawa ka ng another column. Pero sa sales journal pa rin yun, As we would show later. So dito, yung binenta natin kay R. Aquino, isang line item lang. Invoice 111. Yung terms, isang column din. Yung reference column dito, chinicheck yan to signify that it has been recorded in the subsidiary ledger. Ayan, 15,000. Sabi dito, itong mga amounts daw na to, ito, posting of individual amounts are done daily to the subsidiary ledger account. So, itong mga postings dito, kung may mga transactions si Aquino, Caballero, Bermal, Dagarag, ginagawa yan daily. Subalit, yung total nung lahat ng yun would be posted monthly dito sa general ledger naman. So, mas tipid sa oras, mas tipid din sa effort. Ayan. So, yung posting dito would be done monthly Usually, uh, dito naman daily. Okay? If another credit sales is made to say, for example, R. Aquino Gr uh, Grocers on December 12, then the same procedure is repeated. 
idudugtong mo lang siya dito sa baba. Alright? Assuming daw may December 12 ka dito. O the invoice number 115, for example, R. Aquino Grocers, okay? the terms, etc. as well as the amount. Ayan. A checkmark is placed in the reference column to indicate that the daily postings to the customers of Sijavi Ledger has been made. Nabanggit ko na din kanina yan. SJ1 means the data originated from the sales journal's first page. Ayan. Next, sales taxes and the sales journal. Tulad ng sabi natin sa chapter 8, when goods are sold, are sold, the company may be required to withhold certain percentage in behalf of the government for collection of sales taxes such as VAT. This amount would eventually be remitted to the government. In such a case, nasabi ko na rin kanina, another column will be created for such an amount that is withheld. Output tax. So, same principle. Magdadagdag ka lang ng isang column dito. Mas efficient pa rin ito kesa yung usual way. Alright? Next! Pangalawang, Special Book of Original Entry, Cash Receipts Journal. All cash receipts are recorded in this journal. Therefore, all, cash to, all transactions entered here involve a debit to cash. Correct. But unlike the sales journal that automatically debits only accounts receivable and credits only sales, usually, the cash receipts journal, although ang debit mo ay cash, madami kang possible credits. Minsan, may iba ka pa ding debit pagka may discount involved. Hold. Correct? Okay. In the cash receipts journal, when cash are when sales are made for cash, the credit goes to the sales account. Tama yun. When a credit customers customer pays for purchases, credit goes to the account's receivable account. Tama. Nakakolekta ka. Credit mo yung receivable, pero debit mo pa rin cash. Pagka for cash, debit mo yung cash, credit mo naman yung sales. Oh, very basic. Correct? When a bank loan is released in favor of the company, tatanggap tayo ng cash, credit bank loan payable. Basta pag sinabing cash receipts journal, tatanggap ka ng cash. So, naturalmente, debit to cash. Pero, pero nga sometimes, may iba ka pang debit. Say, for example, pagka may discount na involved. When something is bought for cash, say merchandise or office supplies, then eventually return to the vendor for a refund, tatanggap ka uli ng cash. Credit goes to the office supplies, the debit goes to cash again. Okay? So, debit columns, pupwedeng cash, sales discount, other accounts, Sometimes called sundry accounts. This is called sund. This is read as sundry. Ibig sabihin ng sundry ay various or ibat iba. Okay. May narinig ako basa niya sundry. Hindi ko sundry. Okay. Accounts. Ayan, credit columns, accounts receivable, sales, or other accounts. For continuity of illustration, we add transactions to May and De Castro wholesalers, December 1 to 11 transactions as follows. December 2020, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20. Ito yung mga transactions. Okay? Nung 14, nagbenta kay H. D. Malanta, 17,000. Collected the entire amount owed by J. Bermal from the December 5 sale. Approved and released a 100,000 company loan. So, tatanggap tayo ng cash. Inapprove yung utang natin. Collected the entire amount from A. Caballero for the December 7 sale. May and De Castro invested an additional 30,000. Returned office supplies purchased in the month of November costing 3,000. Natanggap natin yung refund. So, cash was received for this. So, dito sa ating cash receipts journal, i-rotate lang natin ito saglit. Ayan, cash receipts journal. Cash sales to H. D. Malanta. 17,000. So, debit cash. Ito yung debits column natin. It may either be debit to cash, sales discounts, or others. Things that won't fall dun sa first two columns. Credits may either be credit to sales, accounts receivable, or others. Those that does not fall dito sa first two columns. When teachers like me teach in front of a live audience, we derive satisfaction to some extent from the interaction with students. Yung mga simpleng pagtawa mo sa mga jokes namin, they mean something to us. They make us happy. But teaching in front of the camera is a different thing. We don't even know if you're there. We don't even know if you're listening. So a simple like dun sa ating video or a simple present sir, nandito po kami nakikinig. We are watching sir. Will inspire us. When teachers like me teach in front of a live audience, we know that you are there. But teaching in front of the camera 
is not merely sharing our content. It means sharing our time, our devotion, and above all, our passion. So, yung simpleng pag-subscribe mo sa amin, it lets us know that you are there and we are here to continue what we are doing. So, ngayon pa lang, nagpapasalamat na kami. Diyan sa yung subscription, uh, it inspires us. It, since it inspires me to wake up every morning, prepare discussion materials, and continue what I am doing. So, thank you so much. Please continue sharing and liking and subscribing. Thank you. So for December 14, cash sales to HD Malanta, debit cash, 17,000, credit sales, 17,000. So as simple as that. No explanation needed. Uh, wala yung to record, to record. Isang line item lang. Tsaka mas mabilis siyang gawin. Ayan. Collection on account, description na lang. So umabot siya sa discount. So may sales discount na na-avail si J. Bermal dito. Alright, lalakihan lang natin ng konti for the meantime. Ayan. May collection dito within the discount period. So, 20,580 and 420 pesos. So, tignan mo yung book mo. It has the same exact information. Credit to the accounts receivable. So, nakadalawa ka na kagad. Bank loan. Credit memo. Ibig sabihin, andun na sa bank, ba, bank account natin yung pera. Na-approve yung loan. So, debit cash, 110,000. Credit, ha? loan payable. Kaya pumatak sa dito sa others. Are you following? Ayan. Collection on account. So, these are usual transactions actually. Just recorded in a different way as compared to the usual manner. So, 24,000, 24,000. Debit cash, credit accounts receivable. Ayan. Additional investment, debit cash, credit, capital. O, oh, ayan. So, yung capital, dito siya sa other. Refund for return of returned office supplies. Debit cash, credit office supplies. Nandito. So, once again, etong mga postings dito, okay, from 17,000 hanggang dyan sa 3,000 na yan, may be done daily. O, pwedeng ganun. Etong mga to, okay, Etong mga to, yung posting, sabi dito, of individual amounts to the accounts receivable subsidiary are done daily. O, pero yung mga totals, tulad nyan, nyan, eto, at saka eto, with the exception of this, are done at the end of the month, monthly. Samantalang itong total naman dito, they're not posted at all. Total is not posted. Makikita mo naman why dito sa ating flow. Alright? So, yung mga details doon, yung mga individual uh, individual amounts doon, papatak dito daily. Doon sa general ledger, pwede once a month. Okay? Rotate uli natin. At the end of the month, the sum of the debit columns must equal the sum of the credit columns. Debit column totals, cash, sales discounts, others. Siyempre, balansyado yan, okay? 205,000. This is what you call cross-footing, alright? Cross-footing. Purchases journal. Pangatlo na tayo. Purchases journal, when the company makes credit purchases, entries are made to the purchases journal. So, purchases of merchandise ito. Only credit purchases of merchandise for resale to customers are recorded in this journal. So again, we add transactions kay May and the Castro wholesalers, December 20, uh, 21, 22, 23, 24. Bought from DM Dupe. Bought or purchased from M. Flores. Purchase, purchase, malong, maramba. So alam natin, pagka bumili ka, aba, debit, purchases, credit accounts payable if it is on account. Paulit-ulit na lang ng ganon. These are four similar transactions. So pag ginamit mo yung purchases journal, just the same, tulad kanina, dun sa sales journal, when sales on account would be recorded to that to that particular special book of original entry, ganun din dito sa purchases journal. Alright? So, debit, purchases, credit accounts payable. Basta pumasok siya dito, understood, debit, purchases, credit accounts payable. Just the same, no explanation would be needed. Only one line item. The details here would be posted daily, but the total here would be posted monthly tulad kanina. These are your general ledger controlling accounts okay? and these are your subsidiary ledgers. Alright. Next one, pang-apat. Cash disbursements journal. All cash disbursements are recorded in this journal. Therefore, all transactions entered here involve a credit to cash. Correct yun. Tama. However, hindi lang yung cash yung credit kasi may mga possible other credits pa. Say, for example, nagbayad ka ng purchases but you paid within the discount period. So, 
not only credit to cash ang mangyayari kasi na-avail mo yung discount. Meron ding discount involved doon. So sabi dito, in the cash disbursement journal, number one, payments. When payments are made for cash purchases, debit goes to the purchases account. Correct. When the company pays for credit purchases, the debit goes to the accounts payable account. Correct din. Payments made within the within the discount period means that aside from the credit to cash, there would also be a credit to the purchase discount. Correct. Also, when assets are purchased or when expenses are paid, debit goes to the expense account or the asset account as the case may be. When cash is withdrawn, then the debit goes to the drawing account, credit to cash. Okay? When cash customers return merchandise and are refunded, the debit goes to sales returns and then the credit goes to cash. Ayan. So, ano nangyayari? Say for example, December 2020, nangyari nung December 25, 27, 28, 29, 30, up to 31. Okay, let us read in passing. Bought furniture from Furnitech, paid rental for the man, purchased merchandise for cash, paid M. Flores, the entire amount owed to her, paid half of the amount due to DM du uh, Dupe, and issued a note for the half, refunded H. Dimalanta for returned merchandise. So, ibig sabihin, lahat yan may credit to cash, however, hindi lang ganong simply because there are other debits and credits. Alright? Rotate muna natin to. Just the same principle, class. Okay? Cash disbursement journal. So, all disbursements dadaan dito. All cash disbursements. Purchase of furniture for cash according to the description. O, the credit. Credit ito, class. Ha? This time, nauna yung credit. Okay? Debit ito. Credit to cash. Siyempre. Credit to cash. Debit to furnitures. Ayan. Kasi ang columns lang natin dito, accounts payable tsaka purchases. Yung pangatlo, others. Meaning to say, those that do not fit dito sa first and second columns, mapupunta dito sa accounts. Other accounts. Now, for convenience, kung madalas mangyari ang isang transaction, you may add that transaction, you may add a column for that transaction always. E kung sa tingin mo ba, e madalas bumili ng furniture yung company, e di maglagay ka na ng column dito na ang pangalan ay furniture and fixtures para mas madali kang mag-record. So, very flexible naman yung ating uh, cash disbursement journal tulad ng mga other books of original entry. O pwede ka na lang maglagay dito ng column na ganun kung madalas para mas convenient mag-record. Eh, pero kung hindi naman, eh, di dito na lang siya sa other accounts. Ayan. Payment of rental, credit cash, debit, rent expense. So, hindi accounts payable o purchases yon Dito papatak yon Cash purchase of merchandise, debit purchases, ayun. Credit, cash, so on, so forth. Once again, all of the details will be posted daily. So, ayan, sabi natin. The totals would be posted at the end of the month. Okay, except this one, yung others, would not be posted. So, yung 16,800 dito, ayan yung, this one is supposed to be 16,800. Please make the necessary correction. This is a typographical error, a matter of copy and paste overlook. Ayan. General ledger, accounts payable subsidiary ledger. So again, at the end of the month, the sum of the debit columns must be equal to the sum of the credit columns. 158,600 and 158,600. So kung makikita mo, same lang yun yan dun sa ginawa natin kanina. Cross footing, okay? Okay class, so that's the bell already. That's it for this meeting. Uh, so ganun-ganun lang class. A few minutes of your time every day, imbis na kung ano-ano yung pinapanood mo, just make it a habit to watch our videos uh, bilang tulong na rin dun sa sarili mong pag-aaral. Why? Kasi tatandaan mo, hindi lahat ng nababasa mo ng mag-isa ay maririnig mo. At hindi din lahat ng mga naririnig mo ay mababasa mo. Tulungan yan. So with that, see you in our next meeting. See you in the next lesson.